This is Ceratosaurus, the horned lizard. Ceratosaurus was six to seven meters long and is known for the bony horn on its nose. Unlike most theropods, Ceratosaurus had small osteoderms along its back that was most likely used as armor to protect from attacks from other Ceratosaurus and larger carnivores. Hello everybody, today we're going to look through Doc J's Ceratosaurus mod. Up here we have our defaults. We're going to look through the subspecies right quick. The variation one right here is smaller than the official Ceratosaurus that we have in game, but it looks really nice. You can really tell that it's armored. It's got a lot of texture here, long tail, pretty much a really good representation of Ceratosaurus. Then we have our bulky one, which you saw really just the midsection, the back and the neck got a little bit thicker here, but other than that, no difference. Then we have slim, which is of course the same as well. You saw the neck and the back get a little bit slimmer. The head is also smaller and a little bit flatter up here. Number four is our small nasal crest. Basically, you don't have such a big bump right here. It's a lot smaller and it's rounded out. And then our no brow crest, we don't have the ones over the eyes. Those are smaller, but we still have our long horned one at the tip. Then we're back to our default. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a female skin for this Ceratosaurus, but let's go through the calls right quick. First up is broadcast. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. That's pretty good. It's actually really different than what I was expecting to hear based off like other iterations of Ceratosaurus, but I like it. Two call. That sounds more like like Dana Sukas, so it's more alligator like to me. I don't know if I would call that a two call, but it's not bad. Threaten. <laughs> Oh, I like that one. That was cool. I love the extra chomps after the roar. I think it's a really good threat. Four call. Ooh, there we go. We got that tail thing. That's a favorite thing that Doc J likes to do. He likes to make the tails curl up during four calls. So I do like that kind of um, personality. Top. That's good. I like the rumble for talk. I think that makes sense. Shake. Well, we started there with like a little butt wiggle and then we moved on the way up. I like it. Stretch. Yeah, one foot and the toes and the yawn. Look around. I like that one. I think that's a little similar to like Sitakasaurus's look around if you've seen how they do that. But other than that, pretty good. And then our invite is the same as our two call. All right, and here's our baby model. It's super cute. I was a little bit surprised about the green. I wasn't expecting the baby to be this like bright green and cream color, but it's not bad. And I think that it looks really, really nice for what it is. But uh, let's go through the calls right quick. First up is broadcast. <laughs> I love the high pitch. It's like almost a squeak, but not quite. But it's nice and high pitch for the baby Two call. Oh, I didn't hear any sound there. I don't know if that might be a bug with it. Threaten. <laughs> it looks even like cuter on the baby. Obviously, it's supposed to be a threatened call, but I like the way it is. Four call. Yeah, there you go. The curl up and the high pitched. That one's a bit more uh, cat like talk. Mm, that one sounds pretty much like the adult, maybe slightly less deeper. Shake. Very good. Stretch. That leg and the jaw is a nice yawn. Very good. Look around. Oh, you almost stared into my soul there for a second. But let's go through the baby animations right quick. Here's our walk. Ooh, look at that. You got the big butt wiggle here. It's pretty fast for a walk for a baby, which is good. It's kind of what we expect. Everything nice, tight turn radius. Run. There we go. Just the faster wiggle. A really nice sped up animation. And our turn radius running is pretty good, too. All right, let's see if we have a jump. We do, and it's very cute. All right. All right, and here's our adult model 
way bigger than the baby for sure but i really like the default skin like this brown and orange is really cool and i like the pattern for it i think they kind of randomize skins now like the game automatically because i noticed it would be different every time i make a creature but it looks really really cool uh let's go through the animations right quick first up is our walk that same wiggle i don't know the waist looks a little skinny here i don't know if you guys can see that might just be me but it looks a little strange um the walk itself is nice turn radius is really good look at this now let's try our run Ooh. oh <laughs> i was afraid i'm gonna break my ankles there um it only feels a little bit faster than the walk honestly like not super fast but our turn radius is really nice which i love all right let's see if we have a jump oh we do have a jump as an adult that's awesome Okay, and that's pretty decently high, so I like that. Let's see our sit. It's a very simple, smooth sit, actually. Very nice animation. Uh, sleep. The yawn. And then our head tucked. Very cute, very simple. Get up. There we go. Basically animation reverse, but no yawn. Let's do our precise movement. Here's our turn in place, which is actually way slower. You might have a better chance like walking than turning in place. Our left. Our side shuffle isn't too bad. Still kind of slow. And then our right. And then it's also kind of slidey a bit. And back. Back and turn. Not that great. I'd rather just walk. Let's see our crouch. Pretty quick, simple. His arms are up and ready and his mouth is open a little bit. Our crouch walk. That's a nice speed for crouch walk. That's about as fast as I would like it to be. I do think it looks like it's sliding a bit across the ground still. But that's something that can be worked out. The animation itself is pretty good. All right, here's our disturbed burrow animation. Basically with the foot and we're just scratching until our little creature comes out. All right, and here's our eating animation. It's a little bit above the body, but it's just pulling off a chunk. All right, here's our drink animation. Just quick little sips. Nothing too major. Here's our swim animation. Oh, it kind of like sped up almost like I wanted to run in it, but it's a pretty slow swim. The animation for the feet though, swimming is pretty nice. The hands don't do anything, but I doubt it would help. Speed swim, a little bit faster. <laughs> He looks like he's trying a little too hard though. Yeah, he's not going fast enough to be trying that hard. Looks like he's drowning. All right, we're gonna check out these skins. Remember, this is the male default skin. Next, we have Badger, Hyena, Tegu, Makuba, Melanistic, and Albino. I'm sure they're gonna add more in the future, but this is all we have for this Ceratosaurus mod right now, but they're not bad at all. This one, Makuba is really bright, but I still kind of like it, so. Let's go through the abilities right quick. We have an extra, I'm guessing, senses slot, and then we have the plus 10% increase to stamina, 10% increase the venom and bleed heal it's just missing an icon right now five percent increase to armor that's pretty good then we have two head slots first we have bite causes medium damage applies the bacterial saliva effect after 10 stacks it activates bacterial infection bacterial infection drains your stamina and hunger over time for 10 seconds Oof, you, you have to get 10 stacks of that for it to actually do that. So I don't think that's going to be too, too strong, but it should be helpful if you can get 10 bites on something. Uh, charged bite, charge up the attack and inflict damage based on how long it's held. Also applies the bacterial saliva effect. So that's the same as uh, our regular Serato. They have a charged up attack. Heavy bites deals a high amount of damage, ignores armor and weight of target. That's going to be pretty good for if you want to fight some apexes. Then we have thrash, a powerful bite attack that also damages you for 25% of the damage damage inflicted also applies the bacterial saliva effect so that's also the same as our regular serato senses we have all for one gain a three percent damage increase when in a group with other medium-sized carnivores stacks up to five times that's the same berserker when low in health your attacks cool down 25 percent faster and you deal 10 percent more damage 
also the same and then carnage increases attack by 20 percent when within 75 meters of a corpse that's pretty good i like that ability metabolism we have hyper carnivore only able to eat meat food drains much slower and then we have hyper scavenger can eat meat fish carrion and bones fast food and water drain when you're within 20 meters of a player body it activates gore when gore activates you get an increase to attack damage by five percent and a decrease to incoming damage by five percent that's really good they really want you to steal bodies with this serato which is really cool hide Brazilian scales increases bleed and venom healing by 30%. Thick scales increases armor by 15%. And then lightweight scales increases your speed. Thankfully, no drawback on this one. Back limb, we have kick, a kick attack that causes high damage. And then we have shove, lunge forward, knocking back enemies. I never really used shove too much when Serato, the official Serato had it, but um, we'll see how it is here. Then for our tail, we have armored tail. Damage and status effects inflicted to your tail is dramatically reduced. Tail attack causes knockback and then balance gain 5% increased turning. So considering how good our turn is already, I probably won't even use that. I'll probably do armor tail instead. All right, we're gonna go through the ability animations right quick. First up, we have bite. That's a nice big bite, has a lot of range. I like the animation for it a lot. Next, we have charge bite. <laughs> I like how he opens his arms as well and is kind of more down instead of the up like the original Serato is. Then he does the bite, and that's also going to apply bacterial saliva status effect. Next, we have kick. It's a forward jump kick, pretty much like our Serato has right now. One more time, kick. And that doesn't do anything other than basic damage. Next, we have tail attack. One more time, tail attack. After that, we have heavy bite. Which is pretty much like the Splitosaurus's heavy bite, and that's gonna do more damage to bigger targets. After that, we have Thrash, which is a cool animation. I like it a lot. It's really fast, really violent, but that's also gonna damage you as well. And lastly, we have Shove, which is kind of like a weird forward but upward attack. It doesn't go very far, which is kind of a shame. Let's see from behind Shove. Yeah. I don't know how useful that's going to be. And there's no voice call ability for Ceratosaurus here, which I think it should have one. Most other creatures do, but that's just my opinion. And that's about it for our friend Doc J Ceratosaurus here. I think this is really good option. It's like the OG Ceratosaurus, but with a few extra abilities to kind of make it a bit more interesting and a bit more different than what we're used to. This one is decently fast, has pretty great turn radius, has decent stamina. It is very slow in the water and it drains its stamina really fast in the water too. The model itself is pretty decent. I do think it's a little thin on the sides, but other than that, it looks really great. It has its armor, its speed. You can buff yourself a lot. I think you should still be able to do what the original Ceratosaurus was kind of initially when it came out so it was a bit more of a brawler and it's really playing towards you being able to steal corpses from other players that seems to be the play style that they're going for so i would definitely be using ceratosaurus to be sort of a bully but i think it makes sense for its place in our roster overall it's going to be a solid choice and i hope you guys check this guy out and check out my stream where we get to see how viable it really is but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video definitely check out some of my other videos and subscribe i cover a lot of videos about other mods and games that you might not have heard of so again thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing and i will see you in the next video